guys, welcome back to the Not Only Carrots Cooking Show. Today I'm going to show you three different types of delicious vegan burritos. Let's get started. Righto guys, let's walk through our ingredients and then we can start making some burritos. Today we will be making three different types of burritos. A nut meat burritos, which is Veggie Delights brand. We have baked beans burritos and also medium salsa chili beans burritos, otherwise known as Mexi beans. You'll need a bunch of different salads. This is tomato, tomato for those of you in the Northern Hemisphere. And some cucumber, cucumber. And some lettuce, lettuce, same thing, right. You'll also need some pickled beetroot in Straya. <laughs> in Australia. We just call this tin beetroot. It's just what you find on the shelf, but it's um, been flavored in vinegar and some herbs and spices, and it's very yummy. If you can find it, give it a go. It adds a sweetness to your burrito. Okay, so that's the fillings. These are the sauces. So today we'll have some sweet mustard pickles. We also have tomato sauce or ketchup if you're in the States. And we have the Praise 99% fat-free traditional vegan mayonnaise. It's once again an accidentally vegan product. It doesn't actually say I'm vegan on the front of it, but it is actually vegan. I'm going to also be using some multi-grain wraps. If you can find some stone ground whole wheat ones or make some yourself, even better. And I also have some Glad Wrap, which is cling wrap, that I will be using to show you how to wrap up the burritos at the end because they make a great lunchbox filler and are handy to take with you to work as well. To start off with, I'm gonna get my can opener and teach you how to open a can of nut meat. Might sound really um, obvious, but it actually isn't obvious. They are a rip top. So, but as you can see, the size of the nut meat is wider than the lip of the tin. So turn it upside down. Use your can opener to get the bottom off and comes away quite easily. This end, you can get the nut meat out. So I just use a bread and butter knife. Scrape around the edge. Not really a bread and butter knife, just a butter knife. And I just get a soup spoon and push it back from the top again out. And you just gradually, you're pushing down and going around at the same time and it eventually comes out. Just gently, bently, bently, otherwise you'll end up with nut meat just sort of scooped out of the top and it, you can't cut your nice circles then. So there you are, that's how you get your nut meat out of the tin. Get our pieces of paper away. And then I just take a sharp knife, slice it into circles like this. And then for a burrito, I'll then cut them in half as well. So you end up with these sort of half moon sized burrito, I don't know, burrito nut meat things. <laughs> they work great on burritos, but if you leave them as a full circles, the burrito can be a bit fat and it doesn't hold together particularly well. I'm gonna clean this up now and then I'm gonna show you how we put it all together. Righto guys, I've got my burrito wrap ready to go. Make sure you do not overfill your burritos. I get in trouble, my husband says, ah, you put too much in your burrito and it falls apart and it does so. Just don't do it. it. Gives me a hard time about it. It's all good. It's all good. Just soldier on. All right, I keep going here, but I wanna go here first. We're gonna get some mustard pickles, sweet mustard pickles. This is our nut meat burger. This is our first one, burrito, not really a burger. Just a thin little spread of that. Well, heart sort of thin. It's chunky, so there we go. Put that first on your burrito. And then you're gonna get your little half moons of nut meat. And we're just gonna go three of those today, otherwise it's gonna be too big. And then I'll get my ketchup, my tomato sauce. If you like barbecue sauce, it's usually vegan as well. And a little swizzle of your sauce onto there. Then we're gonna go for our salad. So once again, we'll follow our pattern with the tomato, three half moons of tomato, tomato, and some cucumber. Just lay it on top. As you can see, I'm working as if I don't have the bottom section even there. If you put your fillings all the way to the bottom, that's when you can't wrap it up properly. So we'll just go with well, sort of three and a bit 
pieces of cucumber and I'll actually put a little bit of salt now. Not too much, but just a little bit. Then this is when you want to put your beetroot. Beetroot is a little bit moist because of being in the tin. And if you put it on afterwards, it can leak into the wrap and it gets soggy and yucky. So don't do that. Grab a bit of lettuce. I've just got iceberg lettuce today, but there are lots of different types of lettuce that you can use. Um, there are butter lettuce and there's romaine lettuce. So check out one that you enjoy. And then we're just gonna wrap it up. That's literally it. So bring your bottom section of your burrito up and your sides in one at a time. And by the time you wrap it over, it should be covering the top mostly. And there you are, that's your burrito. Now, if you were to take this to work or to pop it in the kids' school lunchbox or take it on a picnic, you're gonna to wanna to wrap it up somehow. You can use paper as well to do this. A grease proof paper works really well, but I don't have any of that today, so I'm just gonna show you with cling wrap. And essentially, you're kind of wrapping it up like a burrito again, but I'm gonna bring it a little bit lower so I've got a little bit of space at the top to tie it up. So I pull it up at the bottom and then I bring the sides over. And then I actually wanna pull that burrito in quite tightly while I roll it. So I pull it towards myself and then I'm gonna roll that burrito round and round and round like this. And I kind of do a little burrito shake, get it to the bottom. And then I just twist the top like this and tuck it behind. Voila. And if it wants to pop up again, you've just got a cute little spiky hairdo on your burrito. So that's how I do nut meat burrito. Number two, let's get on to the next one. You get a wrap. And now we're gonna do our baked bean burrito. I will be adding to that some of this vegan mayonnaise. Once again, don't overdo it, it is strong. It has, this does have some vinegar in it. If you wanna have a vegan mayonnaise without vinegar, why don't you try one of my recipes? I've got a raw cashew mayonnaise recipe and soy mayonnaise recipe, both of which are in my cookbook if you haven't already got a copy. Shake your tin first because in the top of the tin tends to be all of the tomato sauce and it tends to settle at the top. So the beans settle at the bottom and the sauce goes to the top. So if you shake it first, you end up with just a big mess of sauce. Then just shake a little bit of beans onto there. Once again, don't go too crazy. And now we're gonna layer on our salad again. Baked beans don't really need too much flavor. They've already got lots of flavor. And if you want to, you can use the tomato and onion baked beans as well that we've done a cooking show for and they are yummy on these too. All right, three with the cucumber. I'm gonna put beetroot on all of them. We love beetroot. Let's do that. Beautiful. And I didn't put any salt this time. Forgot about it. That's okay. Bit of lettuce on top. Okay, now we're gonna wrap it up again. That's it. Once again, up and over, the bottom up, and then each side over. Baked bean burrito. I'm gonna jump now to our very next burrito. All right, two down, last one. Here we go. This is a tin of Mexican salsa chili beans and you can get mild, medium, spicy, and maybe even like ridiculous hot, I don't know. I usually just go for the medium or the mild. But today we have the medium. Once again, shake up the tin, same as you did with the baked beans so you don't end up with, you know, sauce. I am going to not use that. I'm gonna use a little bit of mayonnaise. When you put mayonnaise with things that are a little bit spicy, like a curry or salsa, it actually tastes pretty similar to sour cream. So when you see my raw cashew mayonnaise recipe or the soy mayonnaise recipe, don't think, oh, it's mayonnaise and I don't like mayonnaise. It actually can be, it can be vegan sour cream, like I just said, or it can go along, you know, with a burger or different things like that. So just, they're very versatile and you can even dip veggies into them and oh, yum. So yeah, it's good. All right, pop a little bit of these Mexi beans, as I mentioned earlier, I do have, did I mention earlier? I can't remember. I may not have mentioned earlier, I do have a Mexi beans burrito recipe in my cookbook and that one's from scratch. So if you feel like, you know, releasing your inner Mexican cooking genius, <laughs> cook that. All right, <laughs> she's ridiculous. All right, here we go. 
Let's get on some tomato. Those Mexi beans have enough flavor. I'm not gonna add salt this time. Three cucumbers, little bit of the beetroot. I think in America, you guys just call them the beets. So you go add your beets, bit of lettuce. It's so fast. Who can say that vegan food is just so boring and takes so much time? It's like, you know, if I had three kids, I would have made their, all of their three lunches by just one go. So cool. All right, so there we go. I'm gonna wrap this last one up and then we're gonna wrap up the episode. <laughs> that was really cheesy. That was so cheesy, it was not vegan. All right, guys, so that's it. Very easy, the nut meat burrito, the baked bean burrito, and the Mexican salsa burrito. As you can see, I have today used very similar ingredients to make three totally different burritos. If there is perhaps a salad ingredient I added that you don't like, sub it in for something else. Make sure when you're subbing things though that they are similar. So for example, if you're not super keen on lettuce, you can put baby spinach because it's a mild flavor, but I probably wouldn't put parsley because that would be really strong and really strange. Um, just to give you a little story a friend of mine did once. She made a birthday cake for her son. It looked amazing, had this amazing icing and it was just phenomenal. Cut, they sang happy birthday and cut the cake and everyone took one bite and everybody spat their cake straight back out again onto the plate. And she realized she had accidentally used bicarb soda instead of icing sugar. So there are certain substitutes that are good. <laughs> And there is some of that are bad. She didn't actually mean to do that, but I just thought it was quite a funny story to share. So yes, make sure if you're substituting it's for reasonable things. I hope that you enjoyed this recipe and I really enjoy this episode and hope that you will check out my cookbook, grab a copy to help support this channel if you haven't already. Make sure of course that you like, subscribe and share with a friend and leave a comment below. Let me know which burrito was your favorite and perhaps what you like to have on your burritos or in your lunchbox. Give us some suggestions. We'd love to have some more suggestions for episodes on our channel. Thank you so much for being with us guys. And as always, we'll see you in the next episode. Bye.